Boots. Dress boots are super comfortable. I kept going on about the Dalton. This thing is super comfortable. This is definitely, definitely a great option. However, this is not on my list of purchasing this year and we will, we will talk about why. But let's get into some of the other boots. So you've got the Chelsea boot right here. I must be one of the only people that don't like Chelsea boots. Just something about them. I just don't like them. I don't know what it is. It's too plain. I, I don't know. Everyone says they're amazing. I don't like them. I don't know what it is. Chukka boot, eh, it's cool. Chukka is usually pretty uncomfortable because you don't have much, you don't have laces. I found my foot usually floats around in them. This is more of like an engineer type style boot or a cowboy boot. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not into that, but you know, if you are cool. Lugged boot, no. This, I like the color on this one. Park Avenue dress boot, this is dress boot that's pretty cool. Although again, it's it's a closed lacing, so closed lacing boot just for me doesn't make any sense. But maybe it's more comfortable than the Oxford. I wouldn't get it though. We talked about this, and here is the boot that I have. I really enjoy this boot. I got it actually right over there. This is a great boot, five hundred bucks. They'll probably put this one on sale for around four hundred. Uh, the Higgins Mill, I've. My first pair of Higgins Mail, I still have. They're, they're great shoes. They've lasted forever. I bought them back in 2016, so I've had them eight years. But I think that they discontinued those and they're just making the weatherproof ones right now. Weatherproof ones are actually better anyway. They breathe better. The original Higgins Mill was a little bit too hot for me. If your feet are very sensitive to the temperature, you get hot feet in the summer, cold feet in the winter, or you know your feet don't do well with boots and shoes that don't breathe, the weatherproof one breathes a bit better, which I don't know how they did it. Maybe they used different leather, but that's just how it is. This is great since if it's raining, if it's snowing, you don't have to just revert to wearing your cheaper waterproof Echoes Thursdays. You could still wear a nice boot that's going to be able to dress up, be dressed up pretty well, and, and you're not going to ruin it, and you're not going to get soaked socks. Your socks aren't going to get wet either. So this is pretty cool. I do enjoy this one. A landed cap toe boot. I actually saw this one in person a couple of years ago and I was actually really impressed with it. If I had no boots, this would be the one that I would get. There is, compared to the Dalton, there is no uh, little heel loop right there. You know, the loop that you stick in your hand. You know, this loop right here. It's helpful for putting the boots on, but sometimes your pants get caught on it. It can actually be pretty frustrating. So that's pretty cool. Speed hooks whole nine yards day night soul this is this is actually a really nice boot and the pictures don't do it justice it's similar to the thursday captain although it's more than twice the price of the thursday captain but it's it's probably gonna last a lot longer than the thursday captain honestly uh so this is the one i'd be looking at if i was in the market for boots this year all right we got a couple more options i actually tried this one a few years ago the Patan patent i don't know how you say it didn't like it couldn't get a good fit on it Couple of other things too. They've got a, a lined Chelsea boot. It's not bad, not bad. Hamilton, this is more like the Strand cap toe Oxford boot. Actually not bad. But again, it's that Oxford boot and that closed lacing boot I'm not into. You might be into it, but I'm not. And a couple things. All right, Dalton. One of the best boots they ever made. Why shouldn't you get it? Well, you can't get it. They discontinued this boot. I don't know why they did it. I hope they didn't just replace it with that monstrosity we saw from the reserve collection, whatever it was called, the, the long wing boot. But if you ask me, that was a big mistake. This is the best shoe that I've worn from Allen Edmonds. It's the most comfortable, it's the most versatile. You can, I have it right here. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. At one point I was gonna get rid of these boots, but honestly, super, super comfortable. It has that double butyl outsole. I did run it without the rubber top lift for a long time. I wore it in the rain. I didn't like wearing it in the rain, but no problem at all. These things, they're, they're just really nice dress boots. And honestly, I'd be okay with not having any dress shoes and just having this one dress boot that you can dress up and dress down. Yes, you can wear it in the summer because it's regular calf leather. It's not thick leather. It's just a high top dress shoe. So if you're wearing pants, you can wear this boot. But as you can see, they are out of stock and that's it. They, they discontinued it. Hopefully they'll come out with something new and I hope it's not a 
McAllister boot that has the, the closed lacing right there, but it is what it is. It's what we gotta deal with. So if, if you've got the Daltons, enjoy them. I'm gonna enjoy mine. If you can find a pair, old stock, great. More power to you. But uh, yeah, they that's it. In their infinite wisdom, they don't make them anymore.